Hi, this is Natalie from Nine Arrow from the Netherlands, and I'm here with the second week challenge freebies and telling you about the challenge. Uh, we are doing the Chevy Your Art challenge during the month of February. I have um, more hearts to play with, paper hearts, of course. Uh, and I'm saying paper hearts because the challenge for this week, so today, starts today, February 10th until the 16th, is making a shabby lace heart. I have to say, a vintage heart also had the shabby uh, lace, sorry, the lace on. This is the vintage heart I created last week and I put it on a journal that I'm creating, making uh, a journal out of envelopes. This is, this is These are two envelopes. Um, so, yeah, they are kind of similar but not similar, but there is also an option to make any other shabby project. It doesn't have to be a heart-shaped lace, um, but it is fun to see the laces with the freebies. Uh, but you can also turn this into like a heart-shaped tag with lace, uh, as long as it's shabby and it's um, or it's shabby and or it is actually the shabby lace heart. We're not that strict. <laughs> um, I made these. I made floral strips like washi strips for your project. It doesn't have to be on the challenges. You can use it. Um, and I have stamps over here and little buttons to use. So you can put these on the projects. And last week we had um, also heart-shaped uh, elements and these and some images. Uh, this image and the one that you saw on the on the on the other heart and I also have These and I think I even have yeah this one So we have a lot of things to play with um, And it's difficult if you have a freebies to match exactly with the Challenge because most of the challenges have like fabrics laces and ribbons So yeah, it's difficult for me to make freebies to go with but I think uh, you will enjoy these in your projects. But yeah, if you don't want to do the shabby lace heart, you can also make a, a heart with the stems and strips and add bits and bobs. It, it's all okay. So um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to use one of the hearts for my project. I don't know. This is about the same size, so can, I can also use this one if I want a heart-shaped um heart <laughs> heart shaped base sorry um yeah those of you who know me I, you know i have a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of laces a lot um so yeah i can i can create a um a lace heart for sure um but it's going to be like a decoration or to put on your journal or to put on anything in your maybe craft room living room or you can send it out as Happy Meal because it's going to be quite bulky, I think, uh, having laces on a heart. But I do like to, love to make it. Uh, and the challenges are uh, not only running in Line.Arrow, but also in Haystack Crafty Corner, Sweet Pea Papers, Junk Journal Tutorials and more, and Two Sister Jam. And uh, Stacy from Two Sister Jam... Uh, Facebook group and she also has a shop together with her sister Dana uh, they send me a loads of things to use during well they they go very well with the thing we are doing this month so that is a coincidence but I'm using that and I also have a link down below from Tabitha Tabitha Haynes and her shop is Haystack Crafty Corner from the Facebook Haystack Crafty Corner she has a shop too and I have linked her shop, shop down below too and she has a coupon code uh, for uh, um, a discount. And uh, the Two Sister Jams shop also has. So check, check the description box down below. And you will also find, uh, you can also find the links to the Facebook groups that are joining in with the challenges. Five in total. 
Light Not Arrow, Haystack Crafty Corn, Sweet Pea Papers, Junk Journals, Tutorials and more, chooses the jam. And what that is, does it mean? If you make something, if, let's say this is my heart, I'm going to enter in Light Not Arrow, I'm going to enter in Haystack Crafty Corner, I'm going to enter in chooses the jam, I'm going to enter in Junk Journal Tutorials and more, and I'm going to enter in, I forgot the other one, Sweet Pea Papers. <laughs> So I have one project and I can enter five times. So my name will be in the drawing in each Facebook group every time. That way you can increase winning prizes. We thought that was fun. Prizes are digitals and in Line.Arrow and Two Sister Jam, Jam, the first prize is um, like a, um, how do you say that? We say the good bon. Um, well, you, you can win a gift. Um, amount to purchase in Two Sister Gem. So, uh, yeah, let's start with the lace heart. Um, well, I have to be collecting laces, of course, otherwise I will not be able to make a lace heart. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use this. I think I do, but I also can just trace it. I'm going to do that real quick. First I'm going to glue these, uh, this sheet in half and then together so it's more sturdy. It's not exactly straight, but I don't mind. And now I have to trace it. Let's get the, the bin out. So I have all my tools in front of me. to be like this <clears throat> so this is my fabric heart <clears throat> I am going to sew around the borders first and then I'm going to layer laces so, this is the heart that I sewn over. Um, and now I have to add layers of lace and fun stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, a lot of fun because I love layering laces. Uh, let me see. Where do I have laces? I was also thinking I have a box with all scraps of laces and I thought well maybe I should uh, work with those pieces so you can use up the scraps of lace on your heart. Maybe that's a good idea. So I grabbed my box with laces. And there are also fabrics. Yeah, I can put these aside but I have this. This, this, and this, more of this. Like 
this. Have this. There's a lot. So maybe I should just do that. Oh, I try to color um, organize the laces in the box. Pretty impressed by myself. Um, and I actually did that. Um, yeah, okay. I also have blue. I think I can manage to decorate a heart with these. Oh, I have this too. This. I have a lot. Okay, well, let me see what I got now. Otherwise, my whole desk will be buried in all those laces. Um, still trying to figure out if I need to put this on top, glue on the laces on there, but yeah, then I'm just using this and you're not even seeing the, the pattern, but yeah, I have it already cut out. So I'm going to decorate this with lace, then I'm going to glue it on to this. I need glue. Where's my glue? Okay, I have glue ready. First, I'm just going to add little pieces. Oh, I could put this up here. It's actually quite cool. You know, think about that. And also Okay, we got this. Um, I have a piece that is actually lace from a curtain. This piece, and I also have this is from a tablecloth. I really like. I really like this part. Let me get my other glue. So, I have my Art little glue that is gluing perfectly on fabrics too. Yeah. 
Let me first have some blue over here. Like so. It's not working. I think uh, for this I needed to use the other glue, but yeah. Is a little bit like so. Please stick. Stick to the paper. Um, yeah. Well, it is lacy. Um, what else can I put on? I also have this here on top. So like this. Piece of this maybe or this or both. Or well, maybe I can add both. Um And this, it's not working. This is not my um, thing I normally craft, Chevy. It's a challenge for me too. up here and I believe if I'm correct this uh, piece that I'm working with now with the beads and the sequins was gifted to me by Isabel Borrero, the shabby hippie. She sent it to me. I had more, I did use it before, but this was the final piece. And I have it for a few years now. But I'm finally using it. Okay. Oh, am I still in frame? Yes, I am. I have this glue on my hands. Um, 
else can I add? I wanted to put this on and maybe a piece of this, several pieces of this. Also have this lace. Maybe that's an option too. No, I wanted this. What am I doing? Like so. Like this. And still glue this under. Lucky me. Um, need to add So I'm trying to collage the heart with ribbons. That's basically what I'm doing. But because there's glue on my hands, it's not very, it's not staying put on the, on the heart. It's moving all the time. I should just cut this and wiggle it in like so. I wanted to do it, I want to fold it and everything, but it's not working. But yeah, I do think it's a great way to use up all your scraps because I think we do all have... Um, scraps like this floating around in our craft room or are stored away in a box which we never seem to find when we need it so it's a great way to use it I'm not sure what you think, but I like it. Um, what else do I want to put on? 
I also have this. I have this car and also have this. But I'm not sure how much I want to put on in total. Okay, I like this. It has a pop of another color on it. I think I also need to add a little blue on the other side over here. And I'm using different colors of lace, but you could also only use like neutral toned laces. That would be awesome too. Very pretty to work with, I think. And I'm not even sure I am uh, doing it the right way um, as the challenge is supposed to go. Because uh, Stacy from Stacy's Crusty Jam and from Two Sister Jam, the Facebook group and the store, and her channel name is Stacy's Crafty Jam, she actually came up with these challenges and when she said she was going to run those in her Facebook group, I was thinking, oh wow, this could work so well, like she already mentioned with the kits that I just uh, finished. My hands are covered with glue. So when I try to put something down, uh, it will not stick. Please stay there. No, it's not working. I don't know why. Because I don't have glue over here. Um, yeah, maybe I should. This is taking ages. No, stay put. <laughs> okay, let me try the other glue. Where's my... Definitely need other glue on here because it's not working. So, I should have done that ages ago. Um, yeah. I think it also needs... This. Oh, let me see. Um, what can I do? 
I want to add this floral thingy. No, it's too much. I want to add this. No. Maybe I want to do something with this. I also have this and I have tiny leaves. Let's see what else do I have? Buttons. I do like this. Let me see. I want to put it over here. And then no. I don't want that. I think I want it like so. Over here. Yeah. I think I had it like this. Okay, this is this is okay. I also have um, florals and I have buttons and I also have, a sh well I know I have them somewhere, roses, so I'm not sure where I have them at the moment. Floors. Where are the floors? I have them over here. Where are they? Okay. Found them. I have these. And these are also gifted to me by Stacy. For my birthday. Okay, it's this one. Or this one. So now I can cut off this excess plastic and yeah I do need to glue it down. So this, yeah, this goes very well over here, but I want to add these underneath. Okay, 
else I need to glue with this glue. And glue this like so. Oh, I really like this. Uh, what else can I put on? I also have gold leaves. See that could be something. Sorry, I do need to clean my thingy, otherwise. I have issues with the glue again. Let me check for the gold leaves. Go over here. What is with the glue? Yeah, I had a whole glue accident last week when I was working on my design team project for Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts. Um, the sugar bell bottle I had, because this is a new one, the previous one was sent to me by Ronda Zamora. I was so happy when she sent me that. I didn't know she was going to do that. But when it arrived, I was, yeah, in heaven. <laughs> because it's such a good bottle to use. And she also sent me Fabri-Tac and Art Glitter Glue with the, well, all sorts of glue you want to have when you are a crafter. Uh, Uhu stick. Yeah. And little treats for Mr. Supervisor, who was still alive at that point. But the glue bottle was cracked over here, um, apparently for a long time, because I didn't notice my glue was dry often, very often, and I had the issues gluing down things. Um, but when I was working, I was filming uh, on the design team project with the letters kit from Suzanne. I, um, well, apparently the glue oozed out of the bottle in the crack it um, sat on my hand from my hand I thought oh I have to stop the video because I have a glue issue it came on my phone then I had to wipe it clean because well if it's <laughs> drying on your phone your phone is uh, well not working anymore <laughs> And then I also had to wipe my face, my mouth, and it went straight into my mouth. And that hurt. So I really had to rinse my mouth for like five minutes with water. Um, then I wanted to um, stop the video um, because I paused it. That worked. Then I wanted to stop it 
and I press delete. <laughs> so I lost the footage uh, that was essential for the whole video actually. So yeah, then I finished off my design team project and uh, not filming because I was so, well, I wasn't happy as you might think I was not. Uh, and as you can understand. So I have a design team project with no uh, footage to actually use. So yeah, that was my glue accident. And, and before that, I had a glue accident with the uh, art glitter glue because uh, that was leaking on the top of the bottle. Uh, so yeah, me and my glue. We are doing well. Okay, I have this. I only think it needs to have something over here. Although I'm not sure what that should be. I could add more golden leaves. So it's balanced. Let me try. But yeah, it was terrible uh, with the other glue because that's really stingy <laughs> in your mouth. And I was really afraid that I would swallow it. Yeah. And, but I have to say, I have a new bottle and it's coming out more, well, better than ever before. So I think the, the glue bottle was um, cracked for a long time without me even knowing. And at one point, I, I, I couldn't get the glue out, so I started to squeeze really hard. And then it all oozed out. <laughs> uh, without me even seeing. Until the point I had it on my hand. So, yeah. And it's a good glue, the Fabricac, for sure. But I think there's a reason why we don't sell it in the Netherlands. <laughs> I think um, the glue is not allowed to be sold over here. Or it's just a brand thing, I don't know. But it's, yeah. But I do wish it was sold here, um, because it's a very good glue. Okay. I think I need to add something over here. This is what I got now. It's not all lace, it's also lace and flower. Yeah, I'm cheating a little bit. Sorry for that, but I am going to add lace on the outside here too, I think. I'm not sure how I will be doing that, to be honest. to merge these together. So 
So, okay. Just going to press it like so. <laughs> Maybe that's easier. I'm not sure if I now have enough blue to go all the way down. Guess not. Let's see. I have this piece over here. Maybe I have a little bit in here too. Oh yeah, I have. Not even sure the blue is showing at the bottom, but yeah. God, I wanted to cut this. Yeah. I do like it. Maybe I need to add blue over here. Just a tiny bit. So, okay, and then I also want to add a few buttons. It's a hot mess with the glue. Okay, I also want to add a leaf. On here, without to. I also had it backwards. I do have to say, if you um, have no mojo to craft and you have a, well in this case it's a heart shape, but you can also do it in a rectangle shape and you have pieces of lace and you're just going to layer them on top of each other, it, I think your mojo will be back very soon. It's very fun to do, yeah, I have to say. Okay, these are all not in the tones that I want to use. This one can work. It's a goldy color. And I also have the, wait a minute, 
I also have these buttons, cream colors, which I really like. Oh, this is a beautiful one. And this was a lucky find at the thrift, thrift store uh, a few weeks ago. I never found this before. I want a button over here. This one. And I want a button. Over here. This one. Okay, and where do I want the other? I want two more buttons. This one. I'm not sure if it will stay. Okay. Oh, this broke. No. Why? Well, let me grab another one. I have more of these. So, um, I have a new thingy in my bottle. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I'm done. I, I'm done. I, I do want to add a, a, um, a little something. I have these. I also have like this. Maybe I want this. So I want the coin to go on. I have... This is a larger one. I have a very small... I'm not sure if it will work. Nope, it's not going to work. I need a this one with this shape. Um, Not sure if I want this, I'm just figuring out. Yeah, I think I want it. I want it. I don't know where I want to put it. Should it be on here or at the bottom or over here? I think. Over here.
I just need to go that way. So, oh, I like this. Okay, I want this on here, like so. So a little bit lower. Then you have this at the bottom. Um, the only thing that bothers me is that there's no um, blue over here. So I'm going to add a little bit of blue lace. Like so. Come on. Yes. And yeah, I want to glue it onto the fabric part, so to speak. Um, but before I do that, I need to figure out if I want like a um Thing to actually hang the something like this. I could also just make a loop at the top and have those bits coming out at the end. So it's like this. Okay, I am going to glue this heart on to the other heart. I know, I almost forget. I'm saying it, but I'm not doing it. This needs to be on here, like so. Does that work? I think it does. Oh, I have to say, I didn't thought it was going to be this good. I really like my heart. Yeah, I'm impressed. Maybe that's weird to say, but I'm impressed by myself that I that I managed to. Make to make it this good yeah I'm quite happy with it and what a fun way to use your scraps uh, of lace and fabrics and things you have floating around yeah you should you should well you should do something like this every month a project like this every month uh, I want an eyelet in there and do you need to cut this a better angle? Okay, let me put the eyelet in and then I'm finally finished. Yay! I'm really happy. Punch. Um, 
I think I want to use a gold one. Look, I'm really pleased with the result. Yeah, I I did a good job. Job, although I say it myself. Let me clean my desk a little, then we can see better. So this is the end result. Let me zoom you in a little. Sorry. I hope you can see. I can lift it up. Uh, looks like this on the outside. Yeah, I am really happy with it. <laughs> and now I'm thinking, Ooh, wouldn't this be a great journal topper? <laughs> but I put already this one on. I do like this one. Yeah, but this one is great too. I'm thinking, can I can I manage to put it in here? No, Ooh, it can actually work on the outside. Yeah, it would be a great journal topper too, but I have the other one already on, which is also a great journal topper. But yeah, this is the project for today. Uh, make sure you visit the Facebook group to become a member and to join in with the challenge. The freebies will be uploaded in the Facebook group, so you can download over there. And it's just, if you see them, click right with your um, mouse and then click save on your device that's all there's to it i had to stop the camera for a while because it was um, he was leaning to one side um, but yeah you can put these um, on your project you can also make a a um, shabby paper heart of course or a tag it doesn't have to be exactly this because we know it is a very limited um, challenge this month in in, in um, be with the freebies I mean because most of the hearts if you look at the events all the um, challenges are in there and it's a vintage heart it's a lace heart it's a ribboned heart and there is a buttoned heart so you have all the buttons it's very difficult <laughs> to use the freebies with the fabrics uh, only if you have the heart shaped thingy so but you can use them in the journals and you can also uh, post other projects it doesn't have to only be like these hearts but it is fun and i'm pretty sure i will think of a spot to put it in my craft room uh, maybe on one of the drawers uh, that i have um, or maybe it ends up in the journal anyway I, I don't know yet but yeah um this this is the video for today for the challenge um oh i forgot to say the freebies are also available on my coffee page and while you are at my coffee page uh, maybe you want to buy me a coffee. Uh, I have a lot of freebies. I have a lot of challenges. Um, and I'm happy everybody is using them. But um, it would really support me and my channel and everything uh, that I'm doing to continue doing that. Um, so if you want to buy me a coffee, I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. And yeah, this is it for today. Have a happy Saturday. Stay safe, stay creative. Greetings from the Netherlands. Bye bye. Bye.